Oh God, did I have lipstick on my teeth that whole time? I think I did. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I'm going to show you a little bit of what I would recommend at the Sephora sale. I have to get ready to go out this evening so I thought I would show you some of my favorite picks. I didn't create a full video about this because honestly it's a little bit repetitive. I use these favorite products all the time. I actually haven't placed my order yet so I'm hoping that everything I want is still in stock. My sound is also going to be a little bit weird today. I can't figure out my camera sound so I'm recording my sound on my phone. I hope it works out. My skin is already prepped. Um, Yeah, my skin is... No, I actually think I need more. I put all my skincare on right after the shower. It has set in a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin with the MAC Hyper Real Serumizer. This is not new. If you're not new to my channel, you know I love this. My skin is normal to dry. I'm not sure how you'd feel about it if you're oily. It really gives a beautiful slip to the skin. So I am in the color NC17. I forgot to tell you what I'm using. This is the MAC Studio Radiant Serum Power Foundation. Hopefully this will match. Let me get my mirror going here. And I find that this foundation is best pressing it in. Don't forget my veins as usual. I'm going to pull it down on my neck just to get rid of some of the redness there i'm really hot i just blew out my hair and i'm so hot from it so i have more redness in my skin than i normally do another top foundation pick for me would be house labs for sure i really want to buy the white to mix it in with my other colors that are too dark for me dior forever glow is one of my favorites it's actually in my cart in a lighter color i have 2.5 n that only works for me when i'm freshly self-tanned i like it enough that i want to buy it in the 1.5 there that's settling down the Merit Perfect Complexion Stick, I love that one as well. It gives a beautiful natural finish. I'm looking over here because all of my products are over here. For oily skin, I recommend the Bosma Stick Foundation or the Dior Forever Matte, and of course, Estee Lauder Double Wear. Its CC Cream would probably be good for oily skin as well. If you've tried it and you have oily skin, I'd love for you to let us know in the comments. Next is concealer, it's not new. I love the Huda Beauty Faux Filter. I am in Coconut Flakes, I believe. I can't see, I don't have my contacts in. I love this one. A little bit goes a long way and it stays. Just like that, nice and bright. There's a few more concealers that I love. House Labs, of course, I love that one. Actually, I, I that's in my cart. I'm spending a lot of money at Sephora, but I want it in number 11. I have it in number 13 and it's a little dark for me. I know I need a lighter color. Shiseido concealer, I love. It's equally as good as the Huda Beauty. Laura Mercier for a lighter coverage, really pretty. The Real Flawless Concealer. Oh yeah, and Fenty. The Fenty, I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it up here. I really like that one. I've spoken about that in a lot of my videos as well. I don't think I'm missing anything. If you have oilier skin, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer is really good. Also, the Huda Beauty. Usually you don't have a ton of oils up here. So again, let me know in the comments for my oily skin viewers. That would be really nice to know. I always prep my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot or Painterly. Either one, it doesn't matter. If you're really fair, I suggest Painterly. Soft ochre can look yellow. Just clears everything right up. What's everybody getting at the sale or are you getting anything? You don't have to get anything. I've been going back and forth. My cart was so full. <laughs> I looked at the price and I thought, oh gosh, no, I can't do that. Even though I do this for a living, I just can't justify it. Although I do wanna try everything for you and let you know. All right, I'm gonna powder this down. So I'm just gonna Make sure to pat any crinkles out and then pat it out with my house labs. And I just kind of want to stretch that out a little bit so that the powder gets in there. Right around here, nose, chin, and in there. I did a comparison in a video. I think it was a live. If you didn't make it through it, I don't blame you because it was far too long. On my skin, I did a comparison of the Givenchy powder compared to the House Labs. This one matted my skin out quite a bit. The House Labs leaves me with a little bit of glow and I like that. I don't really have oils that will pop through, so I don't have to control the oils. Some other options for powder are the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder, love that one and the Laura Mercier Blur Powder. It's the talc free and it sits really nice too. Contour is nothing new. It is going to be the Westman Atelier Face Trace in Biscuit, tiny amount. The other one I love is the Patrick Ta. It's the Duo. It has the contour and the bronzer in one. Just a bit up here, 
right into the hairline. A beautiful soft cream formula is the makeup by Mario. What's it called? It's a soft sculpt. I'll put it here. There was another video that I posted comparing the Makeup Forever Artist Bronzer to the House Labs Bronzer. This is number five and the other one is number 15 Wild Sand. Both are really pretty. For my skin coloring, because I have that redness in here, it actually goes really nice with the rest of my body. I'm going to tap right over top of that contour. If I feel like I've put too much, I'm just gonna go over it with my brush. On my forehead, I hope my lighting stays. The sun is going down a little bit. Yeah, and I, I'm happy with that. Last night, I used this as my eyeshadow. I had a cream shadow on. It was the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Own Naturel, and then I used this in the crease. Really pretty. You know what? Everybody's talking about this one, and I've shown it in many videos, so I think I'm going to not show this one today. This is the Patrick Ta Not Too Much duo, and it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna try something else. So this is definitely a top pick for me. Gorgeous, everybody on the internet is saying so, and they're not wrong. Again, House Labs. I'm gonna go in with Pomelo Peach. I'm not a big fan of peach on me, but this has a perfect mix of peach and pink. Peach can really make me look sick, and this one doesn't. Just up here. I'm gonna wipe some off a little bit. Went a little high here, so I'm just gonna blend the edges. Some other blushes that I love are Dior Backstage Pink and Rosewood. The Makeup by Mario has beautiful cream blushes. Power 28 has a beautiful cream blush as well. An Hourglass, I love the color Diffused Heat. This one shows up beautifully on the skin and it mixes really nice. Yeah, it's so soft. If you like that light hand of blush, the Hourglass will work perfectly for you. House Labs has a lot more pigment to it, so if you're heavy-handed, you may want to steer away from it, but it's easy to blend, so I think anybody can wear them. Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow Sticks are stunning. Laura Mercier are beautiful. They're so easy to work with, and they stay. I'm not gonna do that tonight, though. Let me see what I'm gonna use. Some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes are Natasha Denona. We don't have that here in Canada on our Sephora website. Lucky you, everybody in the US. If you're in Canada, you have to order from Beautylish. It's not a big deal, except for we don't get the sale. They're actually really good and get the products here fast. Makeup by Mario. This new one is my favorite. This is the new Master Mattes, the neutrals. Really pretty. I like neutral, cool undertones. I'm not a huge warm person. The original Master Mattes is beautiful and it's warm. So if you like warmer tones, it's wonderful and it's matte. I'm gonna use this one tonight though. This is the MAC Connect in Color unfiltered nudes. I've used this a lot. It's gorgeous. The only problem with this for me is that it's only matte and sometimes I want to shimmer like tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I think I'm going to go into this color right here and just put that in the crease. I'm loving more natural looks lately. I think that's what I'm going to do tonight. Nothing too crazy. I don't know what I'm going to wear to this event. Something simple. I doubt people are getting dressed right up for it, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna stick with the same color and go in the outer corner. Maybe I might actually drag it all over the place. I'm gonna stay out of this area here, but everything else is just going to be this one color. Let me think about skincare. Paula's Choice Mandelic Acid is always what I use for an exfoliant. Tatcha Moisturizer, can't remember the name. I'll put it here. Is it water cream? No, not the water cream. Dewy Skin, <laughs> that's it. I love that one. In the summertime, I will use that more at nighttime as the weather gets nicer. In the wintertime, it's nice in the morning as well. I'm gonna go in with this color here, place it right on the lid, right there. So that little bit of shine will help the light bounce off of it and make it a little bit more special. Like it's not a really light shimmer, so it still looks very natural. And I'm okay if it gets in that crease a little bit. I don't mind that. I know some people don't like it, but I don't mind it. I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier pencil in bronze. Just create a little bit of a thicker lash line. It's nice because it's soft. I'm gonna drag that up a little bit. Just soften that out. I leave this inner corner empty because if I pull it too tight in there, it makes my eyes look smaller actually and closer together. They are nice and soft. I might take this a little thicker on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one again, just creating that little bit of shadow again. Nothing too crazy. Now that I see everything done, I think I'm gonna go back into this again. Try and deepen this up and bring it up higher. Yeah, that always happens. 
I'll get my whole eye look done and I'm like, okay, that's not enough. I've got to just squeeze that up a little higher. And just flick this out, up and out. Should I go a little lower with that? <laughs> it always happens. All right, let me go. I lied. I always lie. I'm going to shade this down a little bit lower as well. See how my eye gets bigger when I do that? I recently tried this again in another video. This is the MAC In Extreme Dimensions mascara. So good. Gives a beautiful fluffy look. Another mascara I like is YSL Lash Clash. Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. That's a tubing mascara. Tarte tubing mascara, I really like. Benefit Fan Fest, gorgeous. That one's a little bit harder to get off, but it's so good. To me, it's worth it. This is probably my favorite MAC mascara for sure. Fell in love with it instantly and it's not hard to get off. Yeah, look at that. That's all I can think of right now. If I think of any more, I'll let you know. Sorry, another palette, and I actually have one in my cart. The Too Faced palette, I have the long one. I'm getting the Cooler Mini palette. I don't need it, but I'd like to try it for you. And it's fun to play. And this is MAC Extended Play, Giga Black Lash, for those bottom lashes. I need this. My eyes have been watering so easily lately. This little brush gets right in there. Did I make a mess? Oh, I made a mess. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Darn, I was doing so well. <laughs> I've been really struggling with my brows lately. One day I like one product, the next day I like another. So I keep bouncing back and forth. This one is the best color for me. It's the Precisely My Brow in Warm Golden Blonde. That'll dry. This side has a lot more hair, so it's much easier to do. I did buy the brow definer and I like it, but it broke on me a few times and I don't know if I wanna spend money on something like that. It's a great concept and they tried hard to, you know, make the components so that it wouldn't break, but it did break a few times on me. So I prefer this one. Plus I get the job done faster with this one. Just soften this up. Let me see if I can get this off now. See this area here where I don't have any hair? I need a pen to go in there and just deepen up that area to create the hair strokes. Or is it gonna work tonight? It'll be a miracle. Hmm, okay, I got it a little thick. Not bad. So what I did the other day was I actually went into Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Dip Brow and this is in caramel. And I took a little thin brush, where did it go? A little thin brush like this. I don't, I don't know where I got this from the dollar store, I think but the brush itself is so tiny. And I just went right in here with that, just to create a little bit more depth. And it worked, not bad. I think it's as good as it's gonna get. And the other thing that I liked that I tried the other day was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. I know she came out with a new product, but I haven't tried it yet. Hopefully I don't ruin them. It went well the other night. I don't wanna lift up any of the color. I just wanna get them looking a little bit neater. See that? Dang, what a pain. Anyone else with big holes in their brows? This side's better. I'm gonna wear my new favorite lipstick tonight. I wore this lipstick combination last night in our live chat with Nurse Chelsea Brown and everybody really liked it. So I will share it with you tonight. I use Charlotte Tilbury's Super Size Me Lip Liner. It actually doesn't look like the lipstick at all, but you don't have to match your lipstick. And I fill my lips in because this stays. Find when your lipstick wears off and you've filled your lips in with your lip pencil. You don't end up with that line and then nothing. And then I have the Makeup by Mario West Village. It's so pretty. It's much brighter. If I wanted to match this color, what would be a great color? I could wear anything. Some of my favorite colors are Nolita from Makeup by Mario. I lost the lid. YSL Lip Glaze number 15 would also look good. There's my lid. You could pop a lip gloss on top of this. I'm gonna try the new Huda Beauty lip glosses. You could even put a lip balm over this, but I'm gonna use West Village. Okay, do I need anything else? Let me just double check my brows. I have that darn hole. I love this Urban Decay brow blade, but the pen itself looks a little bit ashy for me or a little bit cool. But in this case, I'm just gonna go in lightly, right there, tiny amounts. 
I'm going to look at this in different light, make sure that it's all good before I go. From here, it looks good though. Let me just powder a little bit more right in there where my pores are a little bit more noticeable. Right, and I want to show you a new find. This is the Iconic London Illuminator. It's pretty. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, put some on the back of my hand. A dab will do. Look how shiny. And I'm just running my brush like this, getting it into the product and tapping it right there. That is it. Do I need it? No, I don't need it. But is it fun? Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, oh, pff, abort. It's okay, it's okay, don't panic. So I'm just taking my foundation over top. I don't want the shine to go right here. That's good actually, just like that. I can put just a little bit right there. I find liquid for this area really nice because I can control it and it sticks. Maybe a little much. I'm gonna blend that out just a bit. That's it, this is the look guys. I think I'm very happy with this look. Oh, did I ruin my hair? I'm gonna show you a little clip of me doing my hair with the Shark Flex Style. I have the Dyson and the Shark. I tend to use the Shark for some reason, and I don't know if it's the way it's weighted. Both are really good. Both are very powerful. In this case today, I used the round brush as well. I think because my arms get tired very easily, there's something about the Shark, the weight of it, the way the weight is distributed, I believe, is maybe the case it's easier for me to handle, but both are really good. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I love the Bioionic curling iron. I do have the one inch in my cart. I have the one and a quarter inch. I'm looking for something just a little bit smaller. The hairspray that I have in my hair today is Luminous Hairspray by Moroccan Oil. On the end, about this far down, I have the Briogeo Farewell Frizz. A little bit goes a long way. I've had this for a while and I think that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what your favorites are. If you like any of these, have you tried any of these products before? If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Share with all your friends and I will see you later. Bye.